So now let's see how do we define method in, in Scala. So it's very simple now. So let's say I want to define a method, I mean a function or a method in Scala name as show. So I can say def, so that's the keyword we use to define a function and I can mention the function name as let's say show and so we just have to say define function show and now we can in fact we don't have to provide yeah we can provide the brackets there and we have to mention the equal to sign and we can do whatever you want we can say print ln it will print let's say hi okay that's it that's how you define a function the only thing you have to remember is we use a uh, equal to operator when you define a function again if you have multiple lines of code then we have to use that curly brackets which we use in java uh, so we have to okay where is that so we have to use curly brackets only when you have more than one line but if you have only one line you don't even need curly brackets okay now how do we call the method we can just very simple as we have done in the in java itself we can simply say show and you can see we should be getting the output here I was taking lots of time. You know, there's something, there's, there is some bug in the system, you know, it takes lots of time to iterate. Anyway, so you, you can see we got the output as high. So we can define the function by using a def keyword and we can specify show. We have to use the equal to symbol and we can write all our statements here. Now, if you have only one statement, you don't have to even mention the curly brackets. We can mention equal to print ln. And now even even now it will work. You can if you can see we got the output which is high. Right? So that's how we can define a function. Now what else? Uh, now let's say let's go back to Java. Let me see what, what else we can do here. So let's say I want to I have a main main class here. I will say this is a class, let's name this as a demo class which has a main function. And from this main function, I want to create two student object. I will say student s1 equal to new student. I, I, I want to pass some values here. Okay, let me pass one comma Naveen uh, comma, uh, let's say this is just uh, 80. Okay, that's one. Let me just copy this and this is S2 and this is second and this is Rahul and let's say this is 90. So what I want to do now is I want to perform an operation here which is which will compare these two objects. So if I say if I if I try to print if I try to print S1 okay if I try to print S1 dot greater I mean is greater that's how we do it right so we can say is greater and we can pass s2 so now in normal in in java normally we use methods right so if you want to compare two objects we always use a function i mean a method like is greater so if it is greater then it will return true otherwise it will return false but unfortunately i don't have any method called as is greater so i'm getting that method here inside my uh, inside my student class which will have uh, uh, inside this uh, inside this method will we'll return a boolean value and will return now how do we compare this to we can simply say uh, this row number I mean this marks how will you compare this getter will simply use marks so if this marks is greater than s2 dot marks let's say I want to sort all the students based on their marks so we can we use this with we, we can use this method which is, is greater and if you can run this code, I mean not this one, if you, if you run this code, you can see we are getting the output as false because this is not greater, right? And if I replace this, if I change this value to 99, and if you run this, you can, you can see we got true. That means we can compare two objects with the help of a method. But how do we do that in Scala? So in Scala, what, what, what we can do is, Scala supports operator overloading what it means is I can compare two objects I can say this is s2 and this is student and you can see the object Rahul got the values which is one Rahul uh, I mean I will remove this stuff that means the object which, which will be getting is one Naveen 90 the second object I will say two uh, Rahul 
and let's say 80 88 okay and you can see we got the we got two objects one is 90 and one is 88 and how do we compare here so we don't use i mean we can use methods but we can also use something else what are, what is that something else i can say s1 greater than s2 so we can actually use a greater than symbol here but hold on before using that we have to define that method here so we can say def we can define this function i mean this this method which is our function which is greater than sign and we can pass a parameter which is s2 because this is actually s1 dot this is the function name and we are specifying the s2 as a parameter again we have done that earlier right with the help of uh, a plus operator and now we can define a function it returns you a boolean value so i can say this is boolean now it is based on what so it is returned marks is greater than so marks is greater than what uh, we'll compare uh, s2 dot marks that's it uh, okay there's something wrong here it return s2 Uh, it's not working here. What's the issue? I missed something I guess so we have to, oh we have to mention the type of s2 right so s2 is of type Student My mistake. So whenever we define s2 we have to mention the type right and you can see we are getting the answer Which is true because s1 is greater than s2 because of their marks But if I change the value if I change this to 98 and you can see we got we got false hold on it is not yet there where is false come on come on come on i want false as output there yeah you can see we got false so we can so in in scala we can which it supports fun it supports functional i mean function overloading we can also use the operators as the function name so yeah that's it about uh, that's it in this video in this in the next video we'll talk about something else so thank you so much